Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror event for Sceptile is now back in Scarlet and Violet for its second phase out. We're going to cover all of the details of this event and the best builds to solo this with and from Herba Mystica for while this event is running over this weekend. So running over this weekend from the 5th of July until the 7th, we're going to see the return of the 7 star terror raid event for Sceptile. So the Sceptile will be level 100, it will have its hidden ability and burden, which plays no part in this raid because it doesn't have a held item and the moves it will have are going to be leaf blade breaking swipe dragon dance and thunder punch with the additional moves of leaf storm and earthquake it will have the dragon terror typing can never be shiny and it will have the mightiest mark with a hasty nature boosting that speed stat can only be catchable once per save file and like we say as always with these seven star terror raids it will have an array of good high cost item drops large xl candies car boss Dragon Terror Shards, as well as Ability Patches, and more importantly, the a full array of Herba Mystica, which will have a 3% drop every time you beat this event, and one of the reasons why it's worth taking the time this weekend to farm through this, so you can get easy Herba Mystica while this event is running. Of course, as well, when this event is returning, it will be back with the Blissey Terror Raid event, so you, if you want to take those on, the five star spotlight terror raid events for Blissey will be returning at the same time. The build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be for Fezendipity. I realize not everyone has Fezendipity, but we have covered two guides already on the channel one covering the Clefable and one covering Annihilate. Between the two of those and the one that we're featuring in today's episode, they're all going to be something that you have available, whether you've got the base games, the DLCs, or access to Pokemon Home. So, Fezendipity is going to be a very quick way. We covered this build in our preview video, but a very quick way to run through the seven star Sceptile. It's going to have a fairy terror typing with the held item of the Shell Bell, will be level 100, and of course, we'll have its IVs all hyper trained and set to 31. Its moveset is going to be Taunt, Acid Spray, Nasty Plot, and Moonblast. Toxic Chain is the ability there, so just its base ability with the EV spread of 252 EVs in Special Attack and 252 EVs in Defense with a Modest Nature and those remaining EVs put into HP. So that's what the spread should look like. Of course, as always, the build will be down in the description below as well as links to the Clefable build and how to run through the event with that Pokemon and the Annihilate as well. When you first come into the raid against the 7 star Sceptile and you are using the Pheasantipity, you're going to see that turn 0 happen where a Leaf Storm is fired out into any one of the targets on our side of the field. If you do have an Intimidate user, it will be helpful in the raid. Not necessary though, and of course, if you do have a Guard of War as well, that does help out massively for recovery throughout the raid, making things a lot easier. Now, after that Leaf Storm, turn 1, we're going to lock in with a Taunt. It's going to prevent the Sceptile going for any additional Dragon Dances throughout this early part of our setup. We'll boost its attack and speed by one stage every time it uses it, so we want to kind of keep that under control as best as possible. So there's the Taunt going out. Turn 2, we're now going to start chasing down our Terrestrialization counter, so we're going to lock in with a Acid Spray here. And that is going to reduce the special defense on the Sceptile by two stages every time you use it. You're going to take a flurry of attacks. The normal outcome that the Sceptile is going to do is lock in with that Thunder Punch here. So not really going to be doing too much damage at this stage. Turn three, we're going to lock in with another Acid Spray. We ideally want to get the Sceptile down to minus six. Now, I would recommend just keeping an eye on your health going forward in the raid during this initial setup. You don't want to get yourself knocked out too early in the raid and that's one thing that i think you need to keep an eye on throughout if you do get too low if you take a critical hit for any reason just launch an attack especially after you've used these acid sprays you're going to be able to recover a lot of health with that shell bell held item now we have used those three acid sprays so the septile now down to minus six special defense but we're probably looking at the turn now where it is going to nullify the stat boosts on our side of the field and that's what we're kind of looking for because after that point we can get another taunt off. We can start going for those nasty plots. You don't need to rush anything in this raid. The raid timer is pretty nice at this stage. And there we go. Nullify stat changes and abilities on our side of the field. And if we look at the Sceptile, see the taunt is worn off here. So what we're going to do is just lock in with another taunt. Prevent it going for any further dragon dances as we go forward in the raid. So that's just going to make sure that we are staying in a good position. Now our health at this stage, not in the best place. 
the uh, it is going to steal some of our terror orb damage as well but we're going to lock in with the moon blast here just to get some health back before we do anything else in the raid because we aren't in the best of positions now health wise moon blast going to do some nice damage going to help us more importantly than anything just recover a lot of that health that we've lost so far and this will initiate the shield being set up on the septile now we're in that point where we can go for a nasty plot boost our special attack by two stages see a thunder punch coming out here from the septile and the nasty plot going to be the one thing that we do fire off and now we're in the point where we can terrestrialize as well and we are going to be able to fire off a very strong moon blast and recover some big health here from the damage that we've taken already and chip away at that shield and you can see raid timer in a very healthy position at this point i would say the fezendipity most of the time is even faster than the annihilate the only reason annihilate is going to be probably more preferable to a lot of you is because you already have one built in game it's available in the base games as well so not accessible if you haven't got the dlc's fezendipity but here's that moon blast boosted by one nasty plot doing some very nice damage putting us in a very very comfortable place for the rest of this match so like i say you don't need an intimidate user uh, but if you do have one it does help you out massively here and we can just go for another moon blast leaf blade gonna fire out the one problem is losing that poison type and is with the leaf blade now it is hitting us neutral it does have the chance of critical hit so you can have that as a problem but you can see how quick this is here the shield gonna be broken the next turn we'll probably be able to pick up the raid it uh, might take two moon blasts but more than likely just gonna be one moon blast but if you're farming herba mystica this weekend then this is going to be the, the raid build for you if you've got access to it because it is going to make things very, very easy. Now, there's the negative effect nullified on its side of the field, so it's lost those special defense drops that it's had already. It is going to fire off another Leaf Blade, but we'll be able to fire off a Moonblast, and this should be enough at this stage. And with over half of the time I left, we are able to clear the Sceptile as quick as that. So if you do have Fezendipity, like I said, covered it in the preview article, identified it as a very good option against the Sceptile. It's going to be such an easy way for you to run through this raid this weekend and finish up a farm for those Herba Mysticas and just have a good time getting these high rare cost items that you would normally have difficulty getting otherwise. So that's the Sceptile. Nile, Clefable, still very good options. And I, I know that for a fact that you guys have been putting comments in our other videos of lots of good options that you've been using. But I don't know if anything is as fast as the Fezendipity. So if you do have one over the weekend, then definitely try it out. And once you've beat this seven star Sceptile, if you want another one on your map, because you only get one on your map at a time, hit your home menu, open your map, and then come to the system settings in your home menu, down to system, make sure your date and time, synchronized clock by the internet is set to off, toggle through the date and time options, hit OK then hit your home menu and come back into game and this should respawn all of the dens on your map you'll be then able to locate the next respawned seven star terror event for septile head over to it and just repeat the process so if you have enjoyed today's video please do drop a like on it do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content hope you've enjoyed today's video as well and the build and let me know down in the comment section below what you've been using to go through and farm for these herba mysticas while seven star septile has been running be interesting to know as well what you think the next seven star terror raid event will be uh hopefully it will be that for alligator i've been kind of hoping for it for a long time now and maybe we do see that next time but we'll hopefully get that announced at the end of this weekend when the pheasantipity raid ends but have a great rest of your day friends thank you so much for tuning in once again and i'll see you all in the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye